Hey, how's it going everybody? You're just in time for another episode of Plucky Squire and maybe the last one. So last session, I got Thrash back, got my gear back, and now we're just climbing up the deep doom, hopefully meeting up with Humgrump in the next two rooms or so. But I know the answer to this puzzle, given they showed the answer in the last page. Pip made it kind of obvious too. So it just requires flipping the page. Then bringing this over. So this requires stopping. I don't. I don't know how it works with the functionality, but no, we need to tilt. There we go. I was right. A very solid, very open iron door. Pip's little dance. Okay, uh, rotate one more time. And we're good. Ta-da! Dude, not exactly sure what you did there, but it worked like, it worked a charm. And there's just a little guy showing his butt on the back of it. Oh, we got some baddies. Look, over there. That's an elevator. Way over there. An elevator. It's a box on a string that goes up and down. It's our way to the surface. We can defeat all these grumps. We'll be on our way out to the do We'll be on our out uh, we'll be on our way out of Deep Doom. Finally. We missed the sky. Come on, let's rumble. First we jump down. <laughs> Pip, you take out the big guys. The rest will follow. Oh, that sent him flying! I really don't think that move is worth it. There's like no battle music even for this. That's a shame. Meanwhile, one guard doesn't even know this fight's happening. And blammo! Didn't have a chance. Four on one. Pick up the cash. A little bit of the cash, please. Thank you. And we're good. We made it. Metal. Elevator. Let's go. It's a trap. Sends even further down. The fugitives made their traitorous ascent towards the surface. The elevator cable proving annoyingly reluctant to snap. I guess we have to climb his palace so next. They arrived at the surface. And with uncomprehending awe in their traitorous eyes, <laughs> they gazed upwards to see. I'm grump. The monumentally majestic Palace of Humgrump. The palace, it's hideous. That humgrump, I've never known anyone with a worse sense of aesthetics. Major downgrade. Yeah, I mean, humgrump was very bad taste. Which is funny because Moonbeard had such great style. Still can't believe they're related. What's humgrump's deal with plastering his logo everywhere? So garish. Dude really loves that mark, huh? What's it supposed to be anyway? I always thought it was an axe head. You know, something sharp and nasty. Really, it's gotta be an H for humgrump, right? Nope. It's either of those things. The design it comes from events in Humgrump's past. Young Humgrum fancied himself as a poet. Oh butterfly, why do you fly? Nothing but a butterfly. 
Flitter, butter, flitter, butter. Butter, flitter, butter, flitter. Butter, butter, flu. He sent his poems to all the publishers in Mojo. But he was rejected by each and every one. He vowed never to release another poem into the ungrateful world. His anguish would eventually transform into rage that would propel him towards his ultimate destiny. The symbol of his rejection would become the symbol of his vengeance against an unjust world. The symbol of the humble butterfly. That's a bit of a stretch. That's the story behind Humgrum's logo. He must have been a sensitive soul, not able to get over his rejection. Why didn't he just, you know, try and get better at writing poetry? I was a rubbish drummer at first. Everyone's rubbish at first. He was too proud for that. Better to blame the world than try and improve himself. Moonbeard offered his brother help, but Humgrump saw this as humiliation. He flew into a rage, said he didn't need any help. He'd go at it alone. That's what he did. Even now, some years later, the resentment and envy still burns within him. He has torn down the world that rejected him and created a new one in his own. A new tale all about him. Well, it sucks. Definitely prefer how it was before. Agreed, so we have to try and change this plot line back. That means confronting the starring character. I'm Grump. Come on, let's enter the palace. Okay. Anything over here? Glitch bird. Oh, some crates that I can't blow up. There's that one glitch bird to the left, if I can still get him. There's the Mr. Scream. Oh, he's not here anymore. He was here the first time. Crap. Hey, okay, talk to Mr. Scream. Mopping, mopping, never stopping. The more I mop, the more oil appears. Probably because they installed two giant leaking pipes in the throne room. Not that I'm disputing any inferior decoration choices. Anything else I can do here? Oh no, my statue! Oh, there you are. You're probably a different one. You found a seventh lost glitch bird. That glitch bird was actually a highly respected pianist in his homeland. You were in the presence of a celebrity and you didn't even realize it. Perhaps it was right or probably right. Perhaps it will write a song about the kind squire who rescued it. Okay, just through the front door. It's a trap. It has to be. Nope. Okay. Now it's a trap. It has to be. Aha. So, finally. Here you are. Oh, uh, well, this is a wee bit unnerving. Keep going. I have been observing you. Whoa! Take it out! Round pound! No. What a journey you have been on. Those enemies? What challenges you have overcome? Just two flowers are in my way? Hey, keep moving. What fears you have confronted? We attack the tongue? Really? Nothing? Okay. Uh, no thank you. It's full of snakes. Oh, that's right. You hate snakes, don't you, Thrash? I'm nodding. You might not be able to tell because I'm shaking so much. Dudes, does anyone really like snakes? I don't love them. Right? Well, anyway, 
We have to get through this. This is just Humgrump trying to psych us out. Dude, it's not going to work. Come on. We're Tog. Okay, well, you've already taken two hits, I think. It doesn't matter how much damage, like... Jock, Jot is the strongest one here. They deal, like, no damage. More snakes! They're not dropping enough cash. Oh, there's some. We're missing one collectible left in this game. That we haven't seen. The ones I've missed, hopefully I can just do chapter select and find them. Find them fast. I don't want to have to scour behind every rock looking for it. Wahoo! Snake dudes confirmed no match for the Mojam crew. Thrashed them. Need more snakes around here? Bring on the snakes. You like my pun? I think we took care of all of them. Well then, dudes, we're going to do it. We're doing good. Let's rock on. More narration. And yet, all your efforts have been for naught. What's next? You are under the impression that you might stop me or do me harm. But that is impossible. For I am unstoppable. I'm oh, okay. I don't know why they put the flowers as the enemies here. Like, they could have just put soldiers. You see, I, Humgrump, now control the book, and so control our reality. The narrative. I'm not even going to bother with those. Who controls the very fabric of reality cannot be stopped. He's basically a god right now. We're close. I can feel it in my whiskers. There's something waiting through that door. That creepy old grump is right, you know. He does control the reality of the book now. Can't lie to you. Going up against him, our odds, are, our odds aren't great. Are you sure you're ready to step through the door? Chances may be slim, but I don't want to live in any plotline that Humgrump controls. So, however we can stop that, that's what we have to do. Not turn back now. We're in for Artia. All right, well, here goes nothing. Any secret portals? You know this fight's gonna transition to the 3D world. Somehow. Oh, what could it be? I hear a step upon my floor. The stepping feet of traitors four. Look what crept right through my door. I'm Grump. We're here on behalf of the people of Mojo. We've come to take back this land. Oh! Oh, I see. If the mouse says so, then I will have to give it some serious consideration. Okay, I've seriously considered. The answer is, that's seriously not happening. And they're dead. Especially Thrash. Ow. Bogus. Let us go, Humgrump. Haven't you done enough harm to Mojo, to your own brother? Where does it end? Well, I'd say that this story ends here. But not the tale about me, oh no. It still has many magnificent chapters still to be written. Rather, the one about the peppy pr protégés of my wonderful brother. Among them, the plucky squire. Who used to be someone? You were quite the starring character around these chapters. Funny how things can change from hero to has-been in the turn of a page. I will so enjoy giving your tale, all of your tales, a fitting ending. You see, you do so irritate me. Your youth, your entitlement, your potential. It will be a pleasure to end that potential right here and now. I will burn you alive just like I did. And he's asleep. Is it mini beard grown? Ah, fast asleep. Nap time for the grumpy baby. Yo! Moonbeard. And Minibeard! 
Now let's see what we can do about this nasty magical cage. <laughs> Game over. You didn't even fight him. Moonbeard! You're really here. But how? I thought you were gone. Snap, I was pretty sure it was curtains for a moon here too. It was not so. Flashback! The little twerp Hundra zapped me. And vaporized me into a cloud of ink. Or rather undignified, I must say. In my cloudy form, I floated wispily through the room until I finally landed on a sheet of ultra-absorbent kitchen roll. And through a little magic, found myself reformed. And that's how Moonbeard got his form back. You know, Violet. Magic that reformed me, it was the very potion that we cooked up together in my lab. Potion of rebinding. I'm very glad I drank that concoction, it saved my life. That's a weird little animation. I'm just glad I could have helped. Your assistance has been essential, Violet. All of you. What's with the new look, MB? Ah, Thrash, you know, it's a funny thing. When I was reformed, the figments in my ink were dissolved. Leaving me utterly colorless. I am classic Moonbeard no more. Now I am... Moonbeard the mono monochromatic. Rad, you look pretty metal. And Minibeard. Why he's got that colorless look? That little dude was went through all this too. Oh no, nothing happened to Minibeard. He was roller skating when all of this went down. <laughs> I think he changed outfits a minute or two ago to coordinate roller skating. It's really quite a trek from the sheet of kitchen roll back to this world. Paige the bookworm helped me on the way. Good old Paige. Anyway, I'm back now and form a little hung rope's antics. Not a moment too soon. He's free! And angry. So you're back, silly brother of mine. You won't be able to protect your pretty little students. Not from me. But I control reality itself! Space time, it's all mine. Time to demolish your wretched pets. He's gone. <gasps> Metal bird? Whatever he's called? Oh, okay. Mega Eagle, okay. Annoyed, descending upon our heroes with a combative cry. Crash is up. Twirled his drumsticks and got ready to rumble. You're just doing all the mini games again? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, that's fast. Eventually, there's going to be a green one. Ow! This is long! Have health. Here comes the one that go off screen a bit. Snakes. Snakes. Too many snakes. I, I'm just wiggling the controller when a snake shows up. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to actually deal with it. The beat's great on this part.
Zooming in. Is he gonna throw a snake at me? Nope. Okay, now we do some puzzle bobble. Nope, not yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Reddit her wand. It was time to get magical. It's too bad she doesn't have a jack for him, too. That would have been funny. I really wish you could rotate. I feel like that's lost part. Actually, I can make a big combo. Ah, not a big combo. Actually, yeah. Uh, I can make something pretty big. Problem is, it needs to give me a blue now. There. You shall perish here. Ooh, that was a big one. Whoa! I'm surprised they put a puzzle ball part in. They didn't, like, give a tutorial on this or anything, too. Two child resist, young witch. Big combos. Oh, that was wrong. There we go. Oh, they got locked ones now, too. Ooh, big damage. Moonbeard trained you poorly. <laughs> Oh, I walked in on that one. Uh-oh. Oh, I got that one. Whew. Uh, here. Big combos! What? Oh, that was the wrong color! Oh man, I'm playing like crap now. There. Hum grump, hum grumped. Hum bumped. That's fun. I just wish you'd rotate. Oh, punch out. Perfect. Rather annoyed. This is what I want. Jack shot. For a dust up. The best. The best minigame. Can we get some star punches? I think I'm not doing... Whoa! Oh, I see what you're supposed to do. That's so fast! Body blow! Body blow! What was the star? I want a star punch. There we go. It's much harder than the first one, that's for sure. You put up a good fight, little whelps, but I was merely playing with you. <laughs> he was playing mini games. Time to get serious. I, like, when there was that shimmer, I keep thinking there's a star punch in the boxing part. Oh, they're dead. It's a butterfly. Oh, that is gross.
The game's end here. My transformation is at hand. I cannot stop it any longer. This silly little book. It was never enough for me. I have grander designs. The outside world. That is what I know now desire. I will seize everything out there. And I will burn this little book to ash. Is it going to be some hybrid 2D, 3D thing? It is time to finally fulfill my potential. Any second now. Drat, he's given us the slip. It's that meta magic, it's just too powerful. As long as he has that staff in his grubby hands, he'll always be able to pull some kind of mischief. This time he's leapt straight out of this world. Jot. This is a job for the plucky squire. You must follow Home Grump out of the book and put an end to him. Before he becomes all powerful. What hangs in the balance is the fate of this book and the entire outside world. No pressure. Go get him, lad. Jot, good luck out there. We believe in you. You can do it. Drag speed, dude. The team, they don't want to come with me to see the 3D world? There he is. <gasps> the rocket! Run! I need my rocket. As well as look for any collectibles along the way. I might have missed it already, who knows. Oh! Oh no! Oh, how far did I go? Oh, okay. I didn't know there was going to be shrapnel. Okay, terrible start. Okay, make it to the other side at least. There might be a collectible as I'm going. Doesn't look like it. I found shelter! Amongst the bugs. Oh man. Yeah, because I'm wondering if I'll have enough cash to get the final upgrades. Because maybe I've been buying all the uh, collectibles off Martina that I won't have enough cash for the upgrades. Maybe I have to do one or the other for all collectibles or all upgrades. We'll see. First check. Oh, he can't. Dot! What's with the giant horrible butterfly and the rain of explosive green fireballs? I mean, it's quite exciting. Is it time to save the galaxy again? Well, alright, let's get to it. Let's do this. Oh, we're doing the full shmup mode. Okay. First, just doing a little quick little check around in case of anything. Nope. Oh, he's not Jack Jot, though. Is it gonna be like Star Fox? Yeah, it's like Star Fox. Okay. Oh, he's called Cyber Jot. Okay. Aim for the eyes until one cracks, probably. Oh, jeez! Okay. Wasn't expecting that kind of attack. Just keep pelting them. What the? Ooh, I got some hearts. Yeah, it's just like Star Fox now. Down goes Andros. Of course, there's another phase.
Where's the weak spot? Uh, I'm assuming just evade. Oh no, evade right in into one of them. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, this ain't good. Bears down. He's gonna probably put it back up at half health. Oh, oh. Get as much health as I can back from that. Whoa! Ow! Dodge! More rocks? Hey, it's just giving me more health. Oh, no health, though. Aw, oh, barrier last second. Come on. More rocks? It's a tennis ball. There we go. Oh, it did the final hit too. Phase three. Yep. Keep shooting. Oh crap, my face. The little jack, jack, jetpack this time has tons of energy, though. Whoa! Oh, ate all that. How are you supposed to actually dodge this? Oh, another barrier? Can put up the rocks? Nope. Yeah, he's got the rocks. Hit that tennis ball. There. Not dead yet. I I don't understand the balls. I know they're just giving you help, but I don't understand how you're supposed to actually dodge the yellow. Everything else I understand. Ow. Oh, those are fast. There we go. <laughs> Sam comes in his room and is like, what is going on? He immediately tells his parents they, they they don't believe him. They think he's oh. Oh, that's it. Sam's parents like take him to like to seek help or something. Gr Rocketing raspberries. That butterfly was a real mean specimen. The galaxy is heaving with weird old creatures, you know. But you gave that one a right good bop. Blastingly brilliant job, the both of you. Shaping up to be quite thin turned to galactic heroes. Now, young warriors, best return to your home planet. Young warrior. <laughs> Get out of my world! Uh, I'm assuming we want to... Oh no. Did I miss? Oh. Uh, he is constantly throwing it. I'm not even controlling that. Okay, he stopped. Hearts. Jot. 
Dude! Amazing work, lad. I was watching you battling the monstrous battle Buttergrump. You know, my brother's staff has been destroyed, and so his power is gone. He is banished. Perhaps it will give him time to finally reflect on things. And good riddance to you. That soldier died. <laughs> Where's Chroma been? Your Majesty, Moonbeard, Pip, kids, you're all okay. Actually, I would just like to point out that Moonbeard bound, uh, bowed there and all of his color was back for that animation. I'm so happy to see you. Likewise, Your Majesty, Mural and I have been imprisoned in this miserable palace. Oh, for so long. But just now, Humgrump's tools, troops, they began to panic, to scatter. You can feel somehow that wizard's dark power has dissipated. Just so, your highness. Jot defeated Humgrump and destroyed his metamagic staff. That greasy weasel's power is gone. Jot, how can I thank you enough? Once again, the land is indebted to its champion. Violet, Trash, Pip, they all stood up in Mojo's time of need. They all did their part. You became the warriors that Moonbeard knew you would become. I'm proud of you all. Now then, let's get out of this creepy palace. Your Majesty, this sounds like an excellent idea. We have a land to rebuild. Young ones, lead the way. Oh, I thought I was actually going to control them. The end. Oh, not yet. And so, after battling Humgrump's remaining army, the forces of good reclaimed the land of Mojo. And brought peace back to the land. Is Tumba gonna show up? Artia Castle was restored to its former glory. And the people of Mojo came from far and wide to gather at the town. Celebrating their freedom with a marvelous heart. There's some glitch birds. There's Tumba! I see three people that don't look familiar. I'm assuming those are like uh the developers. Taking a break from the revelry, Jot noticed something. <laughs> Who are those three in the back? Oh no. A robed figure standing near the entrance to the castle. It's Sam. It has to be. He made his way over there to investigate. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps. And there we are, the legendary Plucky Squire himself. What an absolute honor to finally meet you. Ah, but I see you thinking, who's this weird robe chap? Since no one else is around, I think it's only polite I show my face. Oh, I was not expecting him. Meet again, Jot. You remember me, don't you? The last time we met was in prehistory. You were maniacally dodging lava bombs, as I recall. I believe I may have mentioned I am a time traveler. What I didn't mention is that I'm actually from your future. And in the future, I'm the main character in a series of books, just like you. Quite popular books, I must add. With very lucrative merchandising, tie-ins, and brand integrations. Came back to your time to watch you and your friends on your historic adventures. You didn't disappoint the way you showed that humgrump what for. How? Utterly sensational. Almost come to give you a message from the author of my books. He wanted to let you know. That you, Violet, Crash, Pip, Moonbeard, and have all been a great inspiration to him. When he doubts himself, he needs to be brave. When he knows what the right thing to do is, even though it's hard. Or when he needs to think of a creative way out of a tough spot. He remembers the plucky squire and his friends. And the way forward reveals itself. I've said what I needed to say. I've s seen what I needed to see. Must be going. Till we meet again, plucky squire. Somewhere in the time stream. Lucky Squire 2, coming to PlayStation 5. Jot, dude, there we are. There you are. We came to find you. To take a breather from the party, if we're being honest. 
So many people want to talk to us. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello there. Hi. Phew. I think I might have developed a vacant stare. Pretty cool though. All the nice things people are saying about us. Kind of unbelievable, making us sound like we're heroic warriors or something. Well, you know, we did sort of save the land. Pretty major deal. No lie, quite the thing, really. Yeah, I suppose so. We rocked! Go us. I, honestly, Pipton wasn't there around much. Whoa, they broke out the fireworks. Rockin' party. Hey, Jot, I wanted to ask. You're gonna be writing this whole adventure up in a new book, right? You have to. I mean, it's one gnarly story. Oh, make sure I really look really cool, okay? Maybe leave out the part where we're being attacked by poisonous snakes. My mom would freak out. The title, what's the title gonna be? Something heroic, warrior-esque. Wait a minute, is someone watching Minibeard? You know, he gets around fireworks. Good point. Come on, dudes, let's get back to the fun. That's a good picture. Story complete. Warriors of Mojo. Adventure complete. Okay, that, you, didn't, you honestly did not need that picture. Like, he hinted at it enough. That's right, look at Sam's back backyard that doesn't really design well. It's a poorly planned back backyard. The Plucky Swire! How are the credits gonna go? Oh, it's just animated ones, okay. Okay. That was pretty good. It's too bad it's a little too short, I'd say. I finished it in two nights, basically. Ooh, they got little different backgrounds here. Oh, give Jot, Jot the shades! Usually I don't skip credits just because sometimes they bind the after credits scene to the credits, but luckily these ones are animated, so we'll get to enjoy them. They're just gonna throw at all the characters. But we're not done yet. There's still collectibles I have to get. All upgrades I need to find. Or vice versa. All upgrades I need to get. All collectibles I need to find. Aw, oh, and they went to... Crap, okay. I thought it was just going to be animated stuff the whole one. The whole credits. Odd that they ended it with the snails. That was a weird decision. But yeah, that, this is a fun game. I wish it was longer. I wish the uh, 3D world aspect of it was a little more expanded on. It basically was like you go out there once per chapter to do one thing. You never have to go back, basically. And I'm referring to when you're climbing or, like, exploring Sam's desk, not just jumping out to rotate a page kind of thing. But the characters were fun. The mini games, I wish they were a little more... They were expanded upon, like, not just punch out once and then comes back the very end. And you still haven't learned the controls since the beginning of the game for, like, if there's star punch or how to dodge and stuff. Things like that. I wish it was, like, every boss had a little punch out thing or... There's a whole little punch-out arena. Same thing with the DDR, uh, the rhythm thing with Thrash, and the Puzzle Bobble with Violet. I wish you could bounce the balls off the edges like in real Puzzle Bobble. And collectibles, I wish I didn't have to like go through the chapters after this. I thought I could just go back and explore anytime I wanted with new abilities. I didn't know it was going to be chapter over means it's over. Just let these keep playing. I don't know, the game wasn't that big. There shouldn't, the credits shouldn't go that too long, that far, that long. Tumba! Special thanks to Tumba! Oh yeah, this was an indie game. I forgot about that. Oh, credits might be over now. Looks like it. Thank you for playing. All possible futures. Uh, the thank you for playing was kind of off-center there. It was time to begin an adventure. Oh wow, straight back to the main menu, eh? 
play game. What do we got? 746 minutes. Story's done. I don't know what the other icon means. Chapter 10. Clear save data. Art gallery. Okay, so I have to go and find... I didn't find the last one. Crap. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Not too bad. Chapter replay. Doesn't tell you where missing items are though. The virus is not saved. Your save file will not be affected. Replay progress is not saved? Does that mean I can't get all the collectibles then? No, it has to. It probably... Mm, what's it gonna do? Continue game? See where it takes me. Oh. Why would it put me here? No, no, I don't want to do this. Why would you just want to play at the last point? Save history. Chapter 9. I like how it's the page is getting ripped off. Chapter 9. Clear. I don't know what I... What are... What do I want? Delete the file. Art gallery. But I have to go back and find the file. But if I go back, replay progress is not saved. So, uh, I'm gonna go back. I just want to see what my currency is and if the art items are still in my possession. Chapter 2. Tome Tower. I'm not actually gonna play. I'm just gonna quickly check here. Our heroes hug on to the Is there a way to skip this? A cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly No, my currency's at zero even. Or it could be well wait. Wait until it actually plays. They were grabbed. And hoisted up. By who? By Thrash. We've been over this. By Thrash. I wish I could skip this for you guys, but I can't. Thrash was a mountain troll. We know this. And Jordan Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. So if I were, if I had to replay this whole game, I would have to watch these again. I could skip all this. I'd skip mini games. Yeah, okay, skip all this. And away he goes. Yeah, you have no currency. Options, audio controls, gameplay. I guess I can put it on easy mode if I have to blast through this again. So I would have to watch all the cinematics again while finding the collectibles. Hopefully art is just saved on your file, maybe. Oh, cr okay. Uh, I would have to check this. I don't think it's worth checking right now. But yeah, that's, that's the game. I didn't get all the achievements in one go. How many did I get? Wow, only, well, there's not many achievements in this game. Let's see. Fully upgrade his abilities, rescue all the glitch birds, and find the art scrolls. Clutch Flodio on your first try. Who's Flodio? Roll from the top of the star projector. Top of the star. Well, I know where that level is. Rearrange Ascendance to make the little frog huge. Rearrange Ascendance to make the bridge huge. Rearrange Ascendance to make some cheese mushrooms. Rearrange Ascendance to make a cheese pillar. Oh, geez, there's a lot of do it or you miss it achievements. Okay, so I guess next episode will just be achievement wrap up. We can go through these in order, I guess. Find the art scrolls. I missed like six. Yeah, I missed six, so 
Lich birds, I'm assuming there's three left that I didn't find. The abilities, I only had two abilities left. But we'll go through, we'll get all these other achievements, all these one-time achievements, or missable achievements. And yeah, that's the whole game. So 10 achievements left. That doesn't sound right, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah. 10 achievements left, nine, well, one being the platinum. So let's say nine achievements left. So yeah, next session, I'll just blast through achievements, getting them where in order, finding where the art is and just grabbing them, getting it out, getting out of that chapter and get to the next achievement. So other than that, it was a fun game. I wish it was a little longer. I wish it was a little more depth on the mini games and the challenge. And in all, I'm glad I played it. I'm surprised with how short it was, but luckily it was free on PlayStation Plus. So if you do have access to PlayStation Plus, give this a try. If you're this far in it, you've probably already seen the plot, so I don't know what to tell you in that regard. Other than that, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching the series, and hope to see you in the next video.